In this tutorial, we'll cover the Sweep tool, which is located in the Derive suite of icons. This tool lets you sweep a shape along a path to generate a solid or a surface object. All we need is a source shape and a path for the source to follow. Let's create a source shape by using the vector line drawing tool and creating a 2D shape. Next, we'll create the path for the source shape to follow. Let's use the spline drawing tool and we'll create a smooth spline curve. Now select the sweep tool. It should be noted that in the tool options palette, we control how the source shape aligns with the path. Leave it at the default of centroid. This will take the source shape and center it on the path. With the sweep tool active, click in the source, then click in the path, and the source is swept along that path. There's many controls that we can use to make modifications to that swept object. Click on the arrow to scale the source shape. Click on the red circle to rotate the source shape along the path. And we can click on the horizontal or vertical red axis line to control the alignment of how that source shape aligns with the path. Click on the blue dots to modify the original source shape itself. Notice that there's a temporary reference plane that's automatically displayed for us. We can even click on the blue dots of the original spline curve to change the path. Now let's look in the Tool Options palette for additional sweep parameters. For example, this Rotate option, which is different from the Rotate we performed earlier. This rotates the source from the start to the end of the path. And the Caps option, with it turned on, it'll cap the ends to make it a solid. With it turned off, it doesn't cap the ends to make it a surface object. We can choose Faceted or Smooth for our model type. Faceted means that the swept object is comprised of a series of planar polygons, and smooth means all the curved surfaces are generated as smooth surfaces, as one continuous face. Click another tool or start the next operation and the controls disappear. To show the controls again, select the pick tool and click on the object. In the tool options palette, click on the show controls button. When the object is highlighted, the Parameters tab also shows all of the sweep parameters associated with that object. Let's conclude this video with two examples. In the first example, we'll build a wall, then sweep some additional detail along the bottom. We begin by creating the wall. Select the Vector Line tool and the 3D wall icon, and click two points for the straight portion of the wall. Now let's switch over to the Arc tool click for the center of the arc and double click at the end and then we'll extrude that wall into a 3D shape. Let's add some additional detail to the straight portion of the wall. We'll do this by selecting the offset segment tool, clicking on the bottom edge of the wall and inserting a segment from the bottom. Let's do this a second time and then we'll use the reshape tool to grab that face and reshape the object. We'll do the same with the other face and there's our detail on the bottom of the wall. We need that detail to extend around the curved portion of the wall. We'll do that by selecting the Sweep tool. Choose the As Positioned option for the alignment. I click on the face for the source and the bottom edge of the wall for the path. And you can see that the face that we selected will sweep along that bottom edge as positioned. In this example, the source and the path are both derived from an existing object. In this last example, we'll sweep crown molding along multiple segments of an object. We'll begin by creating a simple object. Select the Rectangle tool and the 3D Extrude icon. Draw the rectangle and extrude it into a 3D solid. Now select the Circle tool, draw on the top face of the box, and push it through to subtract a cylindrical portion of the object. The next thing we'll do is create a 2D shape for a piece of crown molding which will be swept along the front part of this object. We'll draw the shape at the proper location. Use the zoom tools and let's move to the back side of our object. We'll draw the shape for the crown molding by using the vector line tool, 2D surface icon, and the insert option turned off. Right click in the back face and choose Keep Surface Plane Active. And we'll begin to draw on that active plane. We'll switch over to our arc tool. And as you recall, you can hit the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows to toggle the arc in either direction. We'll switch back to our Vector Line tool. 
And when we're all done drawing the shape, to make sure it's a closed shape, I'll click right at the start position. And there's a 2D profile that represents our crown molding, drawn at the proper location. Right click again to turn off the Keep Surface Plane active. Let's make a copy of the object before we derive a path from it. Select it with the pick tool, hit Command C on Mac or Control C on Windows to copy it to the Bonsai clipboard. Click a blank area to deselect it. Now let's derive the path. Select the 2D shape derivative tool, hold down the Shift key. Be sure to pick the segments in the proper order to control the direction of the derived path. This is important when using the As Positioned Alignment method with the Sweep tool, which is what we'll be using in this example. Click multiple edges on that object, and then release the Shift key, click a blank area, and there's a path that is derived from that object. And now we're ready to sweep. Select the Sweep tool, and let's uh, choose Smooth and As Positioned. Click on our 2D shape for the crown molding, click on the path, and that shape will sweep along that path. And there's our crown molding that follows that object exactly. Now in order to bring the other object back, we can do a Command V on Mac or Control V on Windows to paste that object back into our scene. And this concludes the Bonsai 3D Sweep Tutorial.